in Berkshire. Paul's been claiming benefits for nearly 20 years. Good girl, there you go. Every so often, he has no choice but to leave the safety of his rural retreat and head into town. I just find oh him... Oh, my God, he has to leave his sick... To... Oh, imagine living next to him, that's a semi-detached house. Going shopping now is just an absolute nightmare because you, don't, you can't just walk into a supermarket these days. You have to fight and find everything because they keep moving stuff around. And by, by this stage, I'm absolutely exhausted. Why don't you just do online shopping? Being surrounded by crowds of people at the supermarket can set off his anxiety. I only go when I need to get milk and, I, and sugar. That's, that's, that's all I need to get, really. But with his supplies running low, today Paul has to face a trip to the shops. Paul passes the village where he used to live, but just driving by is a painful reminder that country life isn't always idyllic. When he lived here, he was the victim of an unprovoked attack. I had to move because one day I was out walking my dog and he approached me from behind and attacked me because I'm, I'm gay and it didn't do my mental health any good and it caused me a lot of anxiety and more, more terror attacks. He, made my, he turned my life upside down and made it hell for me. And in the end, I just, uh, I just upped and left. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. So sometimes, basically, when people develop OCD, or become hoarders. OCD and hoarders are basically almost exactly the same thing, just the opposite ends of the spectrum. So imagine you have a tree, the tree is a disorder, and then you've got one branch that's OCD, meaning like cleaning and that, and then the other branch is like hoarding. I went to a tenant's house one time, big man, 60 years old, it's a three bed house, and when I phoned it, because I always phone the tenants, I say, listen, yes, the electrician, I'm planning on coming at one o'clock, for example. He said, right, I'm going to prepare you now. One of the rooms looks like a bomb has gone off in it. My daughter's a hoarder. That's cool. Yeah? These people seem to think, I ain't, I've seen it all. 50 flyers on the wall. I've seen dog shit on the floor. I've had to step over piss. I've had to ask tenants to pick up the dog shit that's on the mat. Yeah, I've seen it all. There's nothing I ain't seen. I've been in rooms where you can't see the floor because there's so much dirt and clothes on the uh, stuff on the floor. So anyway, he said, oh, my, my daughter's a hoarder just to prepare you. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's cool. Gone to the yard, talking to him. The fuse box is downstairs. I need to get him to show me around upstairs where all the sockets are and that. So anyway, we've gone upstairs. As you go up the stairs, directly in front, there's a small bedroom. Him and his missus, they're 60 years old, they sleep in the small box room, <laughs> yeah? The next room to the left was his daughter's room. He said, this is the room that's crazy or whatever. Went in there, it looked like every item of clothing that me, you and your neighbours owned were in this girl's room on top of the bed and some on the floor. He said, they're all on top of the bed because they're usually on the floor, the clothes, yeah? I'm like, wow. So anyway, I'm thinking, how the fuck did she move around in this, this room? So anyway, he took me to his grandson's room, which was next to his daughter's room. The daughter is like 32, 34, and the grandson is like 15 years old or something. The daughter and the grandson, they were away. The daughter was at work, the grandson was at school. When in the grandson's room was testing the sockets. Standing in the hallway upstairs on the landing upstairs, outside the bedrooms, I'm talking to the man, yeah, the, the, the man that's showing me around, talking to the tenant. He said to me, so, so me and him are talking, so I said to him, sometimes the reason why people hoard is because they've had a traumatic experience. Similarly, likewise, if people develop OCD, they might have a traumatic experience. My girl used to do translating as a Polish interpreter, and then she had a guy one time who was, uh, he needed translating and that, but he had bad OCD. He couldn't leave the house and that uh, because, um, yeah, he had some bad OCD. And what caused it was he was attacked one time. He got, he got beaten up and that. And certain men, certain men are not ready for this thing. Me, I've been stabbed. I've been rushed. I've lost countless fights. 
I'm still out here brucking man up and living my life as normal. But certain people are not built for this thing, yeah? So anyway, I said to him, ah, oh, the reason why, like, so sometimes the people become hoarders and that is because they've had a traumatic experience. And he said, yeah, my daughter, and I ain't going to say the word on here because obviously I don't want to get this video taken down because you know what fucking TT is like and certain other platforms is like. My daughter... The reason why she became a hoarder, the traumatic experience she had is because she was scraped. Yeah? She was scraped. Yeah? And I don't mean a graze on her arm or leg. She was scraped. Yeah? So she got violated, didn't it? So for some reason, I put two and two together because she said, ah, it happened about uh, 17 years ago when she was, or it happened 15 years ago when she was 17, for example. So I'm thinking to myself, because obviously I don't know the relationship between his daughter and the little boy that's in the room next door. I'm thinking that the daughter is the little boy's auntie. I don't, I'm not thinking or wondering where the little boy's mum and dad is. I'm just assuming his daughter's in that room and then his grandson's in that room. I'm just thinking, ah, oh, you know, uh, nephew and auntie sort of um, relationship. Nah. His daughter was scraped 15, 17 years ago, whatever. He is the product of the scraping. Okay? But the little boy doesn't know that that is his mum. The little boy thinks that is his sister. Yeah? They the little boy thinks that's his sister. Because they've never, they haven't told him, you're the product of your mum being scraped. Mad, isn't it? So, um, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's what happens sometimes. Yeah. People, they go through a traumatic experience and they, um, yeah, they become a hoarder or they become seriously OCD and that.